what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss on astrology and computer science how to know which subjects you should take if you are a computer scientist or if you're doing your bachelor's or if you're doing your master's <laughs> if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it and like this video click the thumbs up if you like this and share it with the people who are in computer science <laughs> <laughs> I will also make the videos on other subjects after I gain some knowledge individually on those subjects but now because I have done my bachelor's and I am doing my master's in computer science now that is why I feel I can give some information in that domain well what do I mean when I say astrology and computer science it simply means that how to know which subjects you should take and which subjects you should not take when you are studying something related to computer science because people ask me sometimes which career should I choose which career within computer science because there are different domains there's networking there's database there is big data there is storage there is cloud computing there is there's so many branches yes how do you know where you should go well if you have some interest then you can pursue it there's no doubt about it diligently you can pursue it and in fact you should pursue that which interests you rather than going through astrology because you will only like that which has some benefic influence when i say benefic influence i will explain it now what i'm trying to say is every house in our horoscope may have some planet or it may not have for example there are nine planets and we have 12 houses and among them four of them are natural benefits jupiter venus mercury and moon that means whenever we take subjects we should try to see how is that subject linked to which house and do we have benefits in that house natural benefits we do not have <laughs> If we have, then probably we can pursue a career in that domain within computer science. If we do not, or if we have malefics in that house, which that subject refers to, then probably we should not take that subject. And if you go back and check your academic records, I have done this and I have seen the results. You can do it for yourself. That whichever house represents whichever subject, if that house in your horoscope has a malefic, you have scored badly there. And whichever house has benefics, you have got good results there. When I say results, I don't only mean marks. I also mean you have gained good knowledge of that subject. Marks may be there or it may not be there. But you know that subject. So now let me give some examples. I will not explain everything that is on the owners of the people seeing here to determine which house determines what for example if you take the eighth house what is eighth house eighth house is the house of death and rebirth right <laughs> so eighth house how can you link it to astrology i mean how can you link the eighth house aspect of astrology to computer science which domain does 8th house represent 8th house represents recovery because we are recovery is what basically a system has crashed and then you try to renew it yes and then when you do it the system starts again which is what the 8th house something goes down and something comes up yes that means if you have benefits or benefits aspecting it or benefit planets like jupiter moon mercury venus sitting there then and depending on the dignity if it is reasonably well placed in a friend sign or in the own sign or in exaltation the better the placement the better it is for the house then the moment you take subjects in recovery then you will flourish in that domain because the eighth house aspect will be very strong all right now suppose you have benefits in the third house then what you should do third house is what third house is the house of communication short distance communication so all the avenues all the subjects in computer science which 
deals with wires, cables and short distance communications. Yes, those subjects you can take if there are benefits there, you will flourish there. And if there are malefics in the third house, better not to take short distance communication, those subjects which deal with that. For example, wireless sensor networks, that is one subject you can take. And you can see on what topic the subject is. And then you can try to connect it to which house it belongs. Then suppose you have a benefic in the ninth house. What is ninth house? Ninth house is long distance communication, long distance travel. So data transfer over long distances. So if there is some subject which deals with this sub with this uh, topic, then maybe you can take that subject. You will flourish there. <laughs> now, let us come to the fourth house, which is the fourth house. Fourth house is the house of storage. All right. Fourth house is the storage of the. Uh, it is the storage of your karma. It is your property. It is your fixed assets which you have. Second house is also that, but fourth house is more of that physical part of the assets. For example, your home, your car, your vehicles, your your accessories, the things which you own basically, they come in the fourth house. So that means subjects like database, storage, management, all these will come. Storage related subjects, <coughs> they will come in the fourth house. So if somebody has certain placed in the fourth house, it is recommended you do not take subjects of storage. And I know people who have Saturn in the fourth house. And in my university, there had been a course named Distributed Storage and Information Management. And they have flunked in it again and again and again and again. <laughs> Nobody is an exception. Because that planet will not let you do things there easily. <laughs> okay. Then network security. Network security comes under which house? What is security? Somebody is attacking you, right? <laughs> and then somebody is protecting you. So protection is the ninth house. Enemy is the sixth house. So if you have sixth lord bell placed in the ninth or ninth lord in the sixth or benefics in the sixth or ninth, then maybe you can go for subjects like network security and network protection, firewall, you know, analysis of protection, how to go for preventive protection. You know. Prevention is better than care, cure. They say preventive, perfective, and I don't know these terminologies. Then comes the fifth house. Fifth house, what is fifth house? Fifth house is more of the education. It is more of the planning. Yes, rather than implementation. It is more of the abstract concepts, which is what? Software engineering, software engineering principles, software engineering technologies, software life cycle model. These are very famous these days. All right. You can go for these subjects. Then what about the second house? Second house is the combined resources. Yes. Second house represents your assets and the people also of the organization. So if there is some domain which deals with people, for example, of how to take care of the people, of a company or how to take care of the customer service then you can go there <laughs> and which house is winning seventh house so if you have benefits in the seventh house seventh house is what seventh house is other people what you show to others what is there in front of everybody that is the seventh house which is what front-end systems when you become a web developer, then there is front end, then there is back end. So back end is also the eighth house because those things happen in the background. Or if you have benefits in the twelfth house or the eighth house, then also you can go for back end systems. Okay. And fifth house can be related to software engineering, as I said. And fifth house can also relate to things like guidance, just like the ninth house. So you can check in your module, in your curriculum, which subjects are there. Then which house is remaining? The 10th house. Welcome to the 10th house. What is 10th house? 10th house is the house of decisions. It is the house of authority. It is the power, house of governance, power, position. It is the primarily house. It is primarily the house of decisions. If you want to know how good a person is with his decisions in his life, check his 10th house. 
the planet seated there will tell you so if you have benefits in the 10th house you can take subjects which deal with making decisions or allocation of resources because 10th house is the authority what does the authority do authority will allocate resources right that means whenever there are subjects like i don't know in electronics maybe there is power systems like recently the place where i am here in magdeburg my friend he has venus in the 10th house so he was telling me whenever he takes subjects he's a electrical uh, engineer and he was telling me yesterday that whenever he takes subjects in the domain of um, power systems which is what related to governance control decision who will get what where will the signal go all right all these things will come under the 10th house so in computer science if you have subjects which deal with all those on deciding how much to give whom decision making basically you can go there now which house is remaining the 11th house all right what is 11th house 11th house is the original sign of aquarius 11th house is originally the sign of collectivism 11th house is the moon tricon sign of saturn what is the difference between capricorn and saturn capricorn is the own sign of saturn and aquarius is the moon tricon sign now capricorn represents hard work perseverance all right we all know that it is the original house of karma where we work simply without putting emotions without putting our likes or dislikes but 11th house is the sign of aquarius which is higher version of the 10th house means it is the gain of the 10th house which means aquarius represents those people who are in a leadership position who are in a authority position and aquarius is also the sign related to charity and improving the world <laughs> through different means by which you can improve society in a way that has not been tried or tested before which means topics that are in discussion in the computer science industry these days among the big people those are the topics where you can venture for example big data machine learning data analytics all those things are the areas which you can venture because aquarius represents the big people who do not work anymore physically but they work by making plans how to improve things for example artificial intelligence so many people like bill gates mark zuckerberg and so many other leaders in the community they have been working to check the importance of artificial intelligence some people are saying that that is going to destroy the world some people are saying no it's a over exaggeration i'm not going to the debate but what i'm saying is topics like big data analytics and machine learning these are the things which are called the hot topics it's like the hot cake everybody is discussing everybody is talking about it so these are the topics which you can venture into and 11th house is also the house of networking network circles so topics like networking computer networks also come in that although networks will come in more of the third house and the ninth house but it will also come in the 11th house apart from big data data science machine learning computer networks will also come there because what is networking computer networks basically tells you how to connect one pc from here to there that's how it happens so and if you have benefit planets in the 12th house then what is the 12th house 12th house is the house of secrecy just like the 8th house and 12th house deals with loss 12th house is the house of loss so there can be some subjects in your computer science curriculum which deals with data loss data recovery like the 8th house so then you can venture into those areas or what to do when the system crashes which is again recovery or how to efficiently manage data <laughs> for example 12th house is the house of loss so when an organization is undergoing too many losses you find out the cause bug fixing software testing because testing is done when when there is a loss right and testing is done to prevent the loss so if you have benefits in the 12th house 
then there are subjects like software testing which you can take because that will prevent destruction of your company all right and if you have benefit planets in the lagna itself then what to do lagna is yourself so if there are some subjects which require which require you to start something new or suppose there is a project in your department which says there are different topics and you need to integrate and you need to come up with a new idea a new new research proposal a new research project then that is the best place you should be because lagna is the sum total of all the houses see i did reverse i started from i don't know third house ninth house and then fourth house sixth house and seventh house is front end development eighth house twelfth house is back end and administration and decision all these things come under the tenth house and those topics which are in discussion among the elite class they come in the 11th house and 12th house can come under testing 8th house recovery third house is the wired communications wireless networks wireless sensor networks and the ninth house comes under long distance travel long distance communication and fourth house is the house of storage now there are different subjects which can come under more than one houses for example how would you define cloud computing cloud computing is basically what it refers to storage but it is cloud <laughs> so if your rahu is well placed or connected to the fourth lot provided it's well connected well connected means if it is in a earth sign or in a air sign then you can go for subjects like cloud computing because that refers to storage all right <laughs> and ninth house as i said long distance communication internet wide area network different protocols ninth house is the house of rules regulations what is rules and regulations it is protocols yes protocols are basically ways by which two systems agree to communicate in a similar fashion that is the house of protocol and which is the house you mean fifth house i already said it me refers to education and guidance and knowledge like software engineering where you don't do much but you give a overall perspective of how the things are fifth house is the house of planning plan things go ahead and second house resources how to take care of the people within the organization or how to take care of the customers because customers give you money which is the house of money second house there you go that means when you have benefits in the second house you can go into areas like customer service taking care and 12th house as i said software testing and marketing also how to market your product because marketing also means that you are giving away certain things which is the 12th house and marketing is also primarily the 7th house 11th house because it deals with communicating with people right all right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments or if you no any other subjects which fall into some of these houses and last thing i forgot to say sixth house network security okay so if you have any other suggestions of any particular subjects that fall into these domains for example if you know any such subject which i have not mentioned here then you can please let me know in the comments i will be very happy to see it and if you're new to the channel subscribe to it and like this video click the thumbs up and share it with the computer scientists and i hope this helps you in finding a good career all right until next time bye bye see you